Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main beam bus undervolt. Roger, main beam undervolt. Okay, stand by, 13, we're looking at it. Okay, uh, right now, uh, Houston, the uh, voltage is uh, it's looking good. Uh, and we had a, a pretty large bang associated with the uh, caution and warning there. And as I recall, main B was the one that uh, had an amp spike on it uh, once before. Roger, Fred. And the interim air, uh, we're starting to uh, go ahead and button up the tunnel again. Roger. Yeah, that, that jolt uh, must have rocked uh, uh, the sensor uh, on, uh, see now in O2, uh, quantity 2, it's uh, was oscillating uh, down around 20 to 60 percent, now it's full scale high again. Roger. And uh, Houston, we had a restart on our computer, we have pink light and, uh, and the restart reset. Roger, restart, and our ping is light. Restart and the ping is okay. reset. And, uh, and I'm looking at our S, uh, service module RCS uh, UM1. We have uh, B as Bubba Pole, and D as Bubba Pole, UM2, B as Bubba Pole, and uh, secondary propellant, so I have uh, A and uh, C Bubba Pole. T-Mag temperatures. Okay, AC2 is showing zip up. I'm uh, trying to reconfigure on that, Jack. Roger. Yeah, we got a. Uh, Main A undervolt now too, Sean. Main A undervolt. It's reading about 25 and a half. Main B's reading zip right now. Stand by one, Jim. 13 Houston, we'd like you to attempt to reconnect fuel cell 1 to main A and fuel cell 3 to main B. Verify that quad delta is open. Okay, uh, Houston, I'm showing, uh, I tried to reset, and uh, fuel cell 1 and 3 are both showing uh, gray flags, but they're both showing zip on the flows. We copy. 13, Houston, we'd like you to open circuit fuel cell 1. Leave 2 and 3 as is. Okay, I'll get to work on that. Can I look to me, looking out the uh, hatch, so we are venting something. We are, uh, we are venting something out uh, into the uh, into space. Roger, we copy your venting. It's a gas of some sort. 